let's do some work on the pictures first. We'll do some more work on the pictures before we, we go through this like the designer would. Let's say um, we, have, we have changed this. We're not going to use that bird anymore. We're going to have a new graphic. Um, and a lot of times what I've seen is people will do, like, they feel the need to draw X's through things, which is fine. It's clear. Um, but when I'm going through the document, I've got two things to click through. So on one little birdie here, it's not a big deal to have to click on it twice, um, you know, to mark that I've, I've done the change. But if you do that like a hundred times and I have to click twice times a hundred for every change in your graphics, um, that just takes a lot more time. So if you, if you're going to, when you're working with me, if you're going to be crossing out a graphic, one one line through it works just fine. I'll totally know what that means. And again, you can right click on it, open pop up note. If you want to be further, uh, more clear about it, you can say um, delete this graphic, uh, replace with, you know, whatever you want it to say. Another something that you should know about um, is that some text isn't isn't selectable. Like I've got my, my text, I've got my, my tool here. I want to select some text. I could also use this, the text edits tool. And I'm clicking, I'm dragging. And the reason I can't select this bit of text is that this bit of text isn't live font. It's in a graphic. And so whenever there's graphics that are either like a JPEG or like a an Illustrator file that have the fonts outlined. It, Acrobat no longer recognizes those as letters that you can select and you know type over. It only views them as like geometric shapes. And so if you ever encounter some text where you can't you can't mark it up, that's why. And so um, in that case, you can just you know you can draw maybe a little arrow to it or uh, a circle or something. Um, you know whatever whatever suits your fancy to indicate what bit of text that you want to comment on and then you can just make a um, pop-up note indicating whatever you have to say about that text. I'm over here in the in the drawing tools now. I had um, done all the text edit tools and so I'm over here in the drawing tools and you'll notice they're just basic shapes, arrows, lines, rectangles and so forth. The, the closed shapes, like the, the, the rectangle and the circle, they are, um, on those ones you can set both a fill color and a stroke color. And uh, the fill is like the, the inside color and the stroke is the, out, the line around the outside. And I think the default on both of these are red, but I, I, get, I tend to change out my colors from the defaults for um, you know different projects. So if you ever want to go back to your default colors, if somehow you've managed to change them and you want to go back, you can just say make current properties default and that's an easy way to go. Another thing to notice about the lines is that you have all these different dashes and, and shapes you can work with. I think they have to do with like engineering, mm -hmm. engineering projects, but you can, if you, if you feel so inclined, you can add different shapes and, um, you know, different stroke weights and so forth. <clears throat> and um, there's a couple other things to notice here. You can, um, this is like a combination tool. It's like a, you know, a pointer with a place to type. And it, this isn't really a pop-up, a pop-up note, but it's like a, what is this called? It's called the call-out tool. Um, not sure what you'd use it for, but it's, it could be handy. And then there's also just a plain, um, like a plain text tool. And this lets you, it, it puts in a text box. And again, these are white with a red stroke. I think they've changed that in, in Acrobat 10 um, to not be so, not have the red stroke. Um, but again, you can, you can take off the stroke if you like. First, you just have to click on it and then go up here to the properties and just change it to white. 
And one thing I forgot to mention at the beginning is that you probably won't have this up here. When you open your Acrobat, it's probably going to look more like that. And so you say, how do I get those properties so I can change the icons and the colors and all that? And that's, um, again, kind of hiding. Let me see if I can find it for you. Well, if I find it later, I'll put it in as an addendum to the video, but just know this. It's Control or Command E. Now we'll bring up your properties toolbar. Control or Command E will hide it again. I don't know why you'd want to hide it. It doesn't take up that much space and it'll make your life easier. I think this is why I always leave it up because it's buried about four menu levels deep in here and I can never find it. So Control or Command E. And this is called the Properties Toolbar. And it's contextual. The options in here change based on whatever you have selected, whatever type of comment that you have selected. So this is going to offer you just a whole wealth of possibilities of, you know, options for your comments. And if for some reason you ever, um, you know, you can't find the Properties Toolbar because I can't find it, um, and you just want to change comments individually or on your, you know, maybe you're on another version of Acrobat um, or you're on a coworker's computer and they don't want you, you know, touching their toolbars. You can just right click on any comment and go properties. And you can have access to all those same properties on like individual basis in this big gnarly dialog box. It's not as handy as you know, having it all in one place up here, but that is isn't another way to get to it. And so you've made um, you've made all these great comments for your designer, indicating all of the changes. And now the designer, which is me, <laughs> the designer needs to go through all of these changes and incorporate them into the PDF.